tremors, turmoil, and trust. This could best describe the situation at 10 Downing Street right now. UK Prime Minister Liz Truss's fight for her political survival could end soon. And many say it may not be in her favour. Will Liz Truss last till Christmas? Or is an ouster likely even before that? Some experts even saying the fall could come within a week or two. And Britain is watching closely to see whether or not she will make it into the record books as the shortest serving UK Prime Minister since 1759. Some reports saying nearly 100 MPs of the Conservative Party are slated to submit letters of no confidence in trust to Graham Brady, who heads the party's uh, committee that organizes the leadership contest. The mini budget, U turns, and the market turmoil that has followed, putting trust in a tough spot. She certainly did not see this coming clearly. Her goal for a growth economic project has already been shredded by the hurriedly appointed new Chancellor Jeremy Hunt. He was hastily given the job from an ideological ally. Trust has brought in someone who holds very different economic views as compared to hers. From the party center, uh, he, uh, Jeremy Hunt is from the party center. She is on the extreme libertarian right. And plotters in the Tory party are planning a so-called rescue mission. So far, three MPs have gone public demanding her resignation. So if Truss is indeed ousted, let's understand who are the possible candidates to succeed her and be the Conservatives' fifth Prime Minister since Brexit. The first in line, of course, is Rishi Sunak, the Indian origin MP, who, remember, lost to Truss in the final round of the Tory leadership uh, uh, race. Uh, he remains a top favourite for several party MPs. In fact, in August, Rishi Sunak criticised Truss's more than $33 billion plan. He called it disastrous and claimed that it would lead to misery for millions, quote unquote. Sunak gained popularity during the pandemic for his economic package to aid businesses and employees. However, his popularity took a hit after the party gate scandal. And then there is Ben Wallace, the UK Defence Secretary. Earlier, Wallace decided not to run for leadership uh, in the summer, despite significant grassroots backing. Wallace's allies are now contacting Conservative MPs about how they feel about his standing should trust be removed. Penny Mordaunt is another leader in the race. She also stands a shot for the top post. She stood third in the Tory leadership contest earlier. And since then, she seemed to have gained approval from some for speaking out over benefit increases. Uh, but others fear that they do not know what she stands for, really. And the final one, last but not the least, Boris Johnson, former UK Prime Minister who led the Conservative Party to a resounding victory in 2019. He was forced to step down after the party gate scandal and mass resignations from his cabinet. However, Johnson still stands a chance to make a dramatic return to power. According to reports, he still has a core of supporters and his supporters feel his departure was forced by a string of scandals inside, inside Downing Street and that was unfair. The Conservative Party seems to be divided into camps with uh, each one backing their favourite. Will trusts be replaced? There is still some uncertainty over that. But what is certain is that however long trust lasts in office, she is set to be remembered as the prime minister whose grip on power was the shortest in British political history. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.